What up, family? So, I'm going to speak on something today that uh, unfortunately happened earlier this week. And I want to make this video more almost of a tribute to a friend. Um, my homeboy, Boston, Michael Thomas. He was called, we called him Boston because he was originally from Boston. And, uh, his fellow juggalo, good friend, wonderful person. Um, he unfortunately passed away Tuesday morning. Um, <sighs> reasons don't matter. Um, what matters is life and love. And Boston was an amazing person. He was someone that you could always count on to be there when you needed somebody. I always explain Boston as that guy that would give you the shirt off his back. And even without a shirt, he would go find you another shirt if you needed to. And, uh... Monday morning, I had already... My cousin had had uh, a blood clot in his brain and went in for emergency surgery. So, I had just received a call about that and was talking to my my cousin's wife and, uh, and helping them. Um, <clears throat> you know, as you guys know, I'm an ordained minister, and uh, I've been asked to speak... Um, on behalf of Boston at, uh, I believe, his funeral. I don't know if they want me to say anything at the viewing. And uh, I'm, I'm terrified uh, because I don't want to let them down. These are, you know, you guys are all family, and I love you all, but these are my, my ride-or-die homies. These are the guys that are here in town. They're the people I know I can call when I need somebody to be there. Even though we don't see each other all the time anymore, and even though some of us have grown apart some, we've always had each other's back. And Boston epitomized being a juggalo. You know, he was all about family. He was all about love. He was all about taking care of your fellow juggalo and making sure shit was tight and that, that you never wanted for anything. And, uh... He was a good man. He, uh... He loved with all of his heart. And he was... The best kind of friend anybody could ask for. He gave everything and expected nothing in return. And, uh... Unfortunately, at the, at the end it was just too much. And... He unfortunately passed away. You know, and, and to lose a homie, to lose a close homie like that is devastating. Um, my homeboy Eddie. I, I don't. I can't imagine. That's that's his dog. That's that's his heart. You know. Aside from 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 his kid, you know that that man was his brother. That was his road dog, you know. You could always count on him. And I've been real worried about him. But he knows. He knows that we'll always be here for him. Um, I think what makes me the wor what, what makes me feel the saddest is that I don't think Boston knew how much everybody loved him. And they did. They did. And, and I think he just didn't see it because he was one of those people that gave so much of himself but had that <clears throat> that feeling of not being good enough so even though he gave so much of himself and was a wonderful friend he always felt like he wasn't up to par and brother if you were here today still I would tell you, little brother, you're enough. 
you're an ama you were an amazing friend. Even even though we didn't talk very much lately, you you were one of those people I had massive amounts of respect for. And we so we all loved you so much, man. We loved you so much, and, and we're so sad that you're gone. But just you know. I believe in Shangri-La, and I believe that's, you know, and it's not just for Juggalos, it's just our word for heaven, but I know my brother, my brother Boston is sitting up there in a the big old mansion, and got everything he wants, and I just hope maybe, maybe I can make it there to sit by him, and chill, just like we used to do in the driveway, you know, when we had our Juggalos Sunday fun day, I, I, I want to see that happen again. And I hope that we all get there with him. My brother Boston, I love you. And I miss you. And that's all I got to say. Peace. Most family love.